Hello, my viewers. Uh, this is your host, Christine. Nice to, to have you back. Nice to see you again. Uh, for those who are just uh, tuning in for the first time, we actually had a previous video where I shared uh, the do's and don'ts uh, about exercise. And I'm back. This time I'm sharing something completely different. I'll let you take a guess. What do you think the today's topic is about? Well, today's topic is going to be about computers. And the topic we're going to be discussing with computers has to do with a term that I just came across in the same magazine. For those who, who watched my previous video, uh, you know, I talked about uh, some tips that I found in this magazine. But I'm using the same magazine I thought, hey, before I put this magazine in the recycling bin, why not share some more important information that it actually has? So I came across another sweet and nice short uh, piece of information that I thought I should share with you guys, okay? And it has to do with what, what's referred to as digital eye strain. Do you get me? Digital eye strain, okay? <laughs> it's a new term to me. I might not be, I don't know if it's a new term to you, but it's clearly a new term to me. And digital eye strain, uh, this, this is what the article says about that. You may actually be straining to read right now, right? Thanks to, thanks to computer vision syndrome. If, you, if so, you, you are hardly alone. If you're having trouble reading any kind of article, Based on the on the ad, based on on the magazine here, you might actually have be suffering from what they call computer vision syndrome. And uh, so, if you're having a hard time reading, you know, material, uh, you might not be alone. A recent study found that 90% of computer users, huh? Listen to this: 90% of computer users report one or more. Uh, CVS symptoms, which is the uh, you know computer vision syndrome, many of which carry over in the rest of, of, of uh, our lives. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Those symptoms include uh, eye strain, uh, blurry vision, dry eyes, neck and shoulder pain. I know I've experienced one of those for sure, and headaches too. According to the American Optometric, Optometric Association, and some CVS sufferers have ongoing blurred distant vision even after work. One reason CVS is so uh, it's so uh, unpredictable, compared with compared with sharply defined characters printed on a page, computer characters are pix pix pixelated and inherently blurry forcing your eyes to consistently work to focus if you've experienced that <laughs> you probably have one have the cbs i know i've had there times when i've had um issues you know reading any other material after i've spent so much time on the computer but sometimes it's sometimes my vision works better sometimes it doesn't so who knows maybe i need to look into that so here are ways to ease digital eye strain. And I'm gonna share five ways to, uh, to avoid that, okay? Number one, optimize optimize your workspace. And how do you do that? Arrange your desk uh, so you are sitting 25 inches, an arm's length, just like that. An arm's length from your computer screen devices. Um, and this this is as per the American Academy of Orthomatic ophthalmology <laughs> the closer you are the harder your eyes will work number two adjust your lighting okay you may want to adjust your lighting a uh, blazing daylight over the head lights force your eyes to labor as they view the screen so you may want to adjust your light but unfortunately I can't adjust my lights here because I need you guys to see me clearly and hey I'm not on a computer right now I'm reading a book I'm reading a magazine, right? So number three, use a use large font size. Okay, adjust your monitor to software to use uh, type sizes that are easy on your eyes, or simply zoom in on documents. Be careful not to make that type too large, although this can be over uh, 
pixelized on your uh, screen copy number four be sure to blink <laughs> i know some of us spend so much time staring at the computer that we forget to blink but here's the tip you have to blink you unconsciously blink blink every 60 66 percent less often as you stare at a screen um as reported by the university of, of iowa our eye experts this can leave you with dry burning eyes the solution remind yourself to blink by setting a timer and taking blinker breaks twice an hour oh my god you had it guys you can set a timer if you're one of those people who forget to blink you need to use you need you, this tip might work well for you and then lastly remember the 20 20 20 rule the Mayo Clinic advises giving eyes a 20 second break every 20 minutes to focus on something 20 feet away from you there are numerous apps uh, browser extensions and websites to remind you while you're taking that break get up move around you're often if you're often sitting for long hours while viewing your screen which reduces blood circulation and can cause muscle stiffness so guys you had it five things you gotta do and i'm gonna summarize this real quick for you so that if you've just joined us you have an idea and you can always replay this video back so number one optimize your workspace uh keep your computer uh, an arm's length from your keep yourself your computer an arm's length from you adjust your lighting okay don't make it so bright to force your eyes to labor as they view the screen use large format size on your computer you know you can always adjust your fonts on your computer uh, be sure to blink take a minute and blink don't stare at your computer for so long and lastly the 2020 vision which are 2020 vision means you need to take a break from your computer uh, take a take a break and, and walk around uh, look at other objects that are far away from you so that you do not get the CVC the computer vision syndrome well that's it for now thank you so much for tuning in and if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe because i'm gonna be sharing more you know useful tips out there that you and i can use you know on, on a day-to-day -day basis and you know certain sometimes we we get into uh we, we get into a tendency of doing bad habits and we do not know it and then sometimes these habits create some hurt our bodies or create some kind of discomfort well Nice to have you and thanks for tuning in once again.